Hey folks, Mark Devine with Mark's Daily Brief. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching these videos. I hope you're finding them valuable and um, we'll continue to do them as long as you do. And if you don't, please tell me because um, I won't waste my time. So leave a comment below if you're on the uh, website, markdevine.com, or if you're on the YouTube channel or LinkedIn, which is where I'm posting these. Okay, um, today's uh, theme is that it's the way that you take care of the small things will, that will determine how the big things in your life turn out. Another way to look at this is the way you do anything is the way you do everything, which is a term we used to use back in the 90s in the SEAL teams. And I've seen that uh, attributed to different people, but I think you know we've been using it for 20 years now or more, so it's perhaps they learned it from us. At any rate, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. The way you take care of the small things will dictate how the large things turn out. Think about that in the context right now, you know, what's going on in your life. If you take, if you had a, a really high attention to detail in your finances, a high attention to detail in your nutrition, in your sleep patterns, in your exercise, in learning proper or effective communications, and you really treated every individual human being, every one of those small interactions, right, with care and concern and compassion, just can you imagine how much emotional strength you'd have right now, how much financial security you'd have right now? how strong your family would be right now and how strong your physical fitness and, and mental and emotional health would be. Just imagine that. The level of detail in all those areas. And so what I'm saying is that that little detail every day, day by day, it has a compounding effect and it gives you great power the way you show up and the decisions you make over the long term. Suddenly, when a crisis hits, like what's going on right now with this COVID-19, everything seems to be easy because you've already taken care of the foundation. Foundation is solid. Now, you, with a sense of, of being in control because all this stuff, you know, you don't have to worry about it for now. You can then use your time to look forward and to imagine how you can get even stronger. Imagine how you can you know, uh, retool or help your friends and family and organization come through this even stronger. But if you now are having to go back and worry about those little details that you took for granted or blew off, then you're sucked right back into survival mode or what we call first plateau thinking and your shadow is also gonna leak out all over the place and you're gonna, you're gonna be struggling. So uh, I'm sorry if that's you and hopefully this is a wake up call and we're here to help you with Unbeatable Mind Coaching, if you want, just reach out to us. Go to unbeatablemind.com. We have 30 days of free training for you. We've got lots of resources for you. My podcast is a resource. These daily briefs are a resource. But honestly, the best resource is to be held accountable by somebody else. So get some help and we'll help you through it. But um, never go back to your old way after this of not paying attention to the details. Because the way you do everything is the way you do er the way you do anything is the way you do everything. And if you want to be uncommon, you've got to do common things uncommonly well. All right. I hope your training today, my training was morning ritual. I'm broken record here. 20 minutes of yoga, 20 minutes of box breathing, and 20 minutes of meditation. SOP. And then I challenge um, you to join me to do 200 burpees a day for the next 30 days through April 30th. So I did my 200 burpees and um, every time I, I do them, uh, generally, I don't always do this, but I do them in sets of 20. So I'll do 20 burpees and then 10, uh, 20 reps of something else. I usually alternate between uh, air squats, sit-ups, kettlebell swings, uh, snatches, stuff like that. So 200 burpees and 200 um, air squats today, followed by a, a functional fitness wad with sandbag get-ups and tire flips over at Seal Fit HQ. So good stuff. Um, what did you do? Post it below and uh, keep up the training, keep up the work. Your training needs to be integrated physically, mentally, emotionally, intuitionally, and Kokoro, heart mind. So you can access your whole mind or heart mind during these challenging times and dominate. If you like these videos, uh, post a note or go subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you want me to keep doing them. If not, I won't waste your time. Hoo ya, divine out.